NASCAR has implemented many changes in 2015 to make the field more competitive. Some of the most important changes are happening under the hood. As an engine builder, we always want to make more and more power. Even though these new rules are designed for less power, we are excited about the new challenges for our engineers. The current configuration for NASCAR engines is a traditional pushrod style V8, making 850 horsepower with a maximum RPM of around 9,500. In 2015, NASCAR is implementing a tapered spacer in order to reduce horsepower and max RPM. All unrestricted engines are changing from a flat tappet lifter to a roller lifter design, which is a step in the right direction for longevity. Along with that, all other components related to airflow will need to be developed and tested over the winter to be ready for Atlanta in March. The first component to be affected with the rule change is the camshaft. We are changing from a flat tappet cam to roller lifter design, which is more similar to a traditional street engine. Roller lifters require a different machining process for the engine block and are currently run in the NASCAR Nationwide and Camping World Truck Series. The next internal engine change is the lifters. The roller lifters differ from the flat tappet by rolling over the camshaft instead of sliding. They are more durable and cause less drag in the engine. We are also running a tapered spacer in 2015 in all races except for Daytona and Talladega. The tapered spacer sits between the intake manifold and the throttle body, reducing the amount of air the engine can receive. Prior to the rule change, we ran an open spacer. The way that NASCAR regulates the RPM is through the rear gear ratio. In 2015, the RPM target is 9,000. That's 500 less than this year. By looking at the exterior of the engine, you will not see any noticeable differences, but the internal components will need to be re-engineered, designed for optimal power, performance, and reliability. NASCAR has done a great job of talking to engine builders and getting our input and feedback on ways to make the races more competitive for the teams and the fans. The 2015 season is shaping up to have the most competitive racing we've seen in a while. We can't wait to see what is next.